All right, as we head into our overnight hours, we have wintry weather working its way through. Snow continues mainly in the far south, many up north wondering what's going on. Well, it's gray and it's soupy, but temperatures are still on the mild side as opposed to the wild side. Here's what you need to know as far as our timeline, and we're going to start with right now. Snow in the southern valley it continues and it's beginning to accumulate in some spots overnight. That will be persistent in about the same area it is right now. Kind of a soupy night, some uh, fog, again, a problem for parts of Minnesota and the Northern Valley lingering flurries into the early day and one to five inches for some before it's all said and done. More on that in a moment. But right now, this axis of precipitation does continue. Now we see pinks in here. That's mixed precipitation. We're up above the ground. We have uh, air that's warm enough to cause those snowflakes to melt into liquid drops. Then when that falls onto a frozen ground, Ah, that can be a problem. So we do have some areas where we could see some slippery conditions develop. There's flat out rain in parts of southern and eastern South Dakota. And some of these dark blues here along with the whites. The whites are the big snowflakes the size of Hutch's hand. They're a really good size. As we take a look at your uh, radar here, we have this counterclockwise motion right here. We're talking about basically uh, southeast North Dakota, the whole quadrant seeing uh, precipitation with the heaviest snow just south of Oaks on into the Hecla area in South Dakota, right into the southern border county. Now, not all these locations are actually seeing the snowflakes make their way down to the ground. So the lower atmosphere is still not uh, allowing them to fall through, but we are seeing at cloud level plenty of snowflakes that are quite large here as we look right over Ludden and Oaks as we head into the late night hours where the heaviest is just south of the FM. We could be seeing a little bit of sleet. So just keep in mind as we head to bed tonight, some areas, particularly southeast North Dakota, going to have very slippery roads. As we go through the night, a temperature has warmed up a whole degree in the last couple of hours here in Fargo, 32 degrees. Grand Forks 21, it's cooler with some teens up there near Lake of the Woods and uh, 24 out in Devil's Lake. We're going to look in on the Southern Valley right now as we take a look at our camera out there at the Dakota Magic Casino. Flags are moving, but we're not seeing snowflakes or raindrops falling in this particular area. That's good. Out at Hector, 32 degrees. Out at Moorhead's Airport, it's 34. The wind is fairly light for us, only 7 miles per hour out of the south as we head into the overnight hours. Forecast snow continues to spin its wheels in the same spot all night long. It could extend up to and very close to that Interstate 94 corridor. And we start our day with a few snowflakes south. Elsewhere, this dark gray you see, that's patchy areas of dense fog and low clouds that will once again be persistent. By the midday hour, some of the fog starts to break up. Passing snow showers do look to continue in our far southern counties through about midday and then it gets quiet. Temperatures very similar to what we saw today. We're expecting near 30 degree readings and late in the day a chance for some breaks in the clouds. Enough snow to make a snow angel out there. One to five inches for many here in southeast North Dakota. We're talking Valley City and the Cheyenne River Valley and point south as we go into the southern Red River Valley in Fargo. Maybe a trace to a half of an inch. Temperatures steady, Eddie, and about about well, 30 degrees throughout much of the day. Cloudy skies with just a few peaks of sun. Better chance at some clearing later in the day. Hometown forecast shows most of us near 30 with the snow wrapping up in that 3 o'clock hour. Beautiful shot here from the Goodrich area. Thanks, Dallas, for uploading your photo. Now a quick glance at our seven-day planner. Cooler, but not much cooler. Still near 30 on Thursday. Above average, Friday flakes are in the forecast, but just a very slight chance, a very light event. After that, a quiet weekend and a cool one at that. Uh, but... Seasonable weather returns for the start of next week.